so you guys welcome back to my channel this is gonna be kind of like a real on the fly video I think this is kind of gonna this is kind of going to be a series on my channel I'm not sure exactly what to name it but I did want to share with you guys my I will be turning 30 in January so I would love to share with you guys um, some things that I've learned in my 20s and you know how motherhood has changed me you know becoming a wife you know learning about people and friends and all that kind of stuff I want to share that with you guys because I just feel like maybe this will help someone and you know I always try to make videos that help people and, and inspire you and help you to grow I'm all about growth on this channel so I think one of the first things that is that people really are not what they really truly appear to be you know everybody kind of has a mask on everybody has a mask on. I don't care how real you are I don't care how you know outspoken you are everybody wears a mask around certain people you know there's just no no getting out of that so I'm I started to realize that people were not always as real as they appeared to be you know and and that's okay you know it's because you're not gonna be the same way as you are in front of your mama and your pastor and your brother and your cousin it's gonna be a different type of vibe so you know that was something that I kind of realized I thought that you know what you see is what you get and that's not true when you're you know when you when you're really trying to figure out people and you really start to understand people that's not really true everybody wears a mask um, but there are only a few people who are really good at it if that makes sense like some people actually wear a mask and they kind of forget who they are on the inside and they kind of become the mask you know y'all ever see the movie the mask where um, the with Jim Carrey and he's got this mask on and he turns into the he basically turns into the mask and you know that's kind of how people portray themselves but they really aren't like that so everything is not what you always get and always question everything um, people see your age as a handicap you know when you're in your 20s and you're 20 something they look at you as though you don't know anything and I don't know I think age discrimination is kind of like a big deal now because um, you know Millennials are kind of we're like probably one of the smartest generations to ever walk the planet the fact that we're so young and we have access to so much information and so many different resources um, we're very very intelligent intelligent generation so um, I know that I have dealt with age discrimination a lot and not even just from like trying to work but you know from my own family members and from people that you know I I've known for a long time to kind of treat you a certain kind of way because you're younger and you're not as um, I guess experienced you know as someone who is older or has been through many things and I know that that comes along with it but at the same time you know that's something that I learned people that people really treat you differently because of your age and sometimes people are jealous and envious of you because you're younger and you know more than you than, than they think that you should so be careful about that I know it was something going around about Nipsey Hussle um, you know basically sharing his insight on how older people get kind of bitter and they get kind of angry at you because you're actually doing something with your life that they are still sitting around talking about and you know that's just something that I really really kind of just felt in my soul and my spirit because you know people have done that to me and it hurts a lot and it makes you feel like well damn if I can't do my best and be my best me then what do you expect me to do that's something that I definitely learned um, and even if those people are your, your your close family members your close relatives you know it doesn't matter they still gonna I've still been treated a certain kind of way because of my age and that's something that I learned a lot um, you know in this decade the next thing that I learned is that bills do not go away and they do not discriminate y'all like <laughs> when I tell you 
I've always been a very like money conscious person. I've never been one of those people to kind of just like blow my money on just dumb stuff and you know not be conscious of my spending but when I tell you when I first became aware of bills and how dangerous they are I mean I really really became really really more conscious like bills don't go away like them things right there they don't go away and not only do they not go away but they're always popping up like it's always always something that's coming um, I know that I learned after having kids that kids even like if you really if you're having a hard time with becoming an adult and learning that there are yes bills indeed then um, just be mindful that kids are definitely gonna pull and and just open that gate a little bit longer and harder because they cost a lot of money they're not cheap they're very very expensive the thing that I have learned by becoming a mother and being of course a young mother in my 20s now growing up in the generation that I'm growing up in is that we especially being of black you know of ethnicity um, when you do have kids you need to be teaching them about money and not just about you know oh you can have this and you can have that like we really need to be teaching our children the value of money and and investing and you know trying to help them build wealth so that when they become our age they don't have the same issues that we did you know and their grandparents did and and so on and so forth parents behind them so that's something that I definitely learned um, just by being a little bit more conscious about my money and having kids and you know growing up in sticky situations where you know if I had I had a, a thousand dollars saved up then I wouldn't have been in this situation but you know you live and you learn and that's kind of how life is life is the best teacher it teaches you things sometimes unfortunately you know we learn by losing people um, we learn by you know really really tragic events unfortunately but you know that is life and that's something that you really just can't escape so the fourth thing that I learned um, which is death you know death basically has no um, no preference at all like doesn't care how old you are it doesn't matter how sweet you are how you know much money you've given people and how much you've done in your community it does not matter you know death does not have a preference and you know you really kind of just have to live life live life to the fullest and live life um, being the best that you can be but you also need to be more aware and be conscious that you only live one time and the choices that you make today will definitely affect you tomorrow so um, that's something that I definitely learned with just not just not not even really just having kids or you know me being a certain age but just growing you know mentally as a person you know it does not have a preference we you, you have to like live your life right you have to live your life right and you have to make really conscious decisions to do the right thing and to do what is best for you now you know truth be told anybody that's living their life right could walk outside and a meteor could hit them or they could run into a bus or what have you but you know when you're gone you're gone and there's really nothing that can be done about that nobody can bring you back um, you know we watch all these videos and we're you know a very social media driven generation and you know we kind of like get lost into the fun and the hype of things but at the end of the day you know you have to live your life of value and of substance and that's what's really gonna make a difference when you're gone you know how much value and how much of substance you are as a person and as an individual so that your name can live on because you know you can be forgotten you know people say gone but not forgotten but is that really true you know how many times have I woken up in the morning and I don't even think about some of the people that have passed on you know because you know I think about them in a glimmer of my head me as a person but you know 
they fade away eventually, you know. And that's just something that is a hard pill to swallow and it's something that most people don't want to hear because it's very um, uncoded. It's uncoded and it's very raw. But it's the truth. And, you know, that's what I'm trying to speak here on my channel. Um, and that's something that has definitely helped me become more aware of my growth and me as an individual and how I raise my kids and you know my legacy that I'm trying to leave behind so yeah that's something that death has truly truly taught me what can I say about motherhood motherhood is definitely probably one of the most amazing things that has ever happened to me in my life if not the most amazing thing um, motherhood is very hard it's it's very 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 difficult and if you are not in the right headspace I know that a lot of women have not been able to raise their kids and you know you won't be you really won't be able to experience it on that level if you really are not in the right headspace <clears throat> And me, I don't have a lot of help. I really don't have, like, I know a lot of people have their moms and grandparents and, you know, their sisters and cousins and all that. They kind of really pitch in and help. Like they say, it takes a village. But I really don't have a lot of consistent one-on-one -on -one parental support. So my husband and I are kind of just doing this on our own. We're kind of figuring this thing out on our own you know we have family members don't get me wrong but um it's there it's not like a consistent um i'm gonna be here every single day type of thing you know if we need help then yes we have people that are more than willing to help us but we do not have someone that is just like there in your face every single day you know with all the day and day in and day out of parenting we're, we're doing this stuff on our own and i think that it's a great thing because we're learning how to grow and build not just as parents but but as individuals you know helping having kids not just helps the children but it helps you as an individual so i'm learning how to be more not so I'm trying to not raise my kids how I was raised if that makes sense like true enough I think my parents did the best that they could do but I think that when you grow up and you're a child and you realize the way that you were raised you want to raise your children in a better way um, I know that in our community mental health is a huge issue and we thought that we were being raised right like I'm not finna sit here and beat my child like don't get me wrong now I do not spare the rod but I'm not gonna beat my child and mentally mess them up and um, degrade their confidence and self-esteem and you know you know throw away their dreams and their goals and what they want to do in life like you know how our generation was kind of like brought up like if you aren't going to school to be a doctor or a lawyer or you know if you aren't just going to school then you aren't really doing anything you weren't really making anything of yourself so anything less than that you know starting a business and you know you kind of got that thrown away it kind of got you kind of got laughed at in your face and I know I did you know I know that me becoming an entrepreneur was something that my parents weren't really like set <laughs> they really weren't set on and I'm the only child so you know my expectations of being great and all these wonderful things were very very high and it was hard you know trying to meet those expectations especially when those expectations weren't what you wanted so that's something that I've definitely learned not only becoming a parent but as just being um, a young mother and just like you see things in a different perspective than when you saw them when you were you know growing up in the 90s and you know around people who had to work all their life and the thought of starting a business was just not even in the, the vocabulary so it's very the transition has been very hard don't get me wrong but um it's been very rewarding becoming a mother is um 
<clears throat> I know I see a lot of people like take pictures like on Instagram I see pe people who take pictures of their kids and um, they kind of like engage in promoting this false expectation of being a parent and you know even though there's nothing wrong with taking pictures of your kids and you know having photo shoots and all of that because I've done it too you know who doesn't like to take pictures of their kids but it kind of um, if you don't if you don't have the right mindset and you're not in the right headspace you know it can kind of make you feel insecure as a parent um, especially growing up in this day and age where we kind of just see everything on a on a screen and we think that this is the way it's supposed to be you know so it kind of makes you feel insecure as a parent it makes you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and a lot of things that I've seen on on social media as you know a young mother have been very helpful you know I've learned how to chill out and I become more aware of my attitude towards my kids at times and how it affects them and, tr and childhood trauma basically never goes away it's always with you but you know in a sense that that kind of thing definitely does make at least me it makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do and I'm just sharing my my thoughts and my feelings and my back sports story on this because I know that there are women out there who feel like they have to get up at six o'clock every morning and uh, um, do this and do that and meal prep on Sundays and you know like you have to listen to classical music all day at four o'clock and you know make sure you're giving your kids the best stuff and food and I mean that's that's all great and yes you should definitely try to give your kids the best of the best but it's okay like you don't have to like really really feel like you're less of a parent and you're a terrible parent because you're not doing a thousand different things every single day because it can be overwhelming you know being a parent in this modern age it's definitely hard it's not as simple as it used to be back in the day you know where your parents just kind of like you know wake you up in the morning drop you off at school and that's it like you it's a lot of pressure today to be a parent and um i'm just trying to share with you guys that it's okay you don't have to feel like you have to be superwoman and super dad or whatever the case may be you don't have to to feel like you have to meet these really really unrealistic expectations as um a parent as a woman as a father as a you know a guardian or somebody who's taking care of a small child you know there's it's okay it's okay you're doing really really great and I feel like as long as your children are respectful they are um, taken care of they're fed um, they're aware I think that's one of the biggest things that people as parents really need to become aware of is making sure that their children are aware making sure that their children are knowledgeable and their it can have, your children can have the nicest clothes they can have all of the nicest fancy appliances and electronics and you can put them in the best schools but if they don't know what's going on and they're lost when they turn 18 and they step out those doors then that's the issue because they're going to be coming home to you and you're not really going to want to deal with that because I know that when some parents get to the age when their children are like 18 19 years old they feel like their children should know this and they they don't they, they don't their job is done but you know you should really we should really become more aware of what we're teaching our kids and what we are letting our children be more exposed to that is what I feel is more important than anything you know teaching and educating our kids you know when it comes to what they wear and what school they go to and you know all of those superficial artificial materialistic things that we kind of like have been trained and told that our kids should know and be aware of are um, I just think those are very misconceptive and it can make you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a parent. Um, so me at 29, you know, in, in my 20s, you know, 
I have a f almost five year old and you know because I'm so aware of that um, I feel like I'm doing a really really good job I feel like compared to what I knew when I was five years old or what my parents I feel like what they knew at the age that my son is now I feel like I'm doing a really really wonderful job and you know I can only keep doing and you know if you're not if you're not being exposed to the right things and if you're not opening your mind up to different things and more possibilities then it can become very hard for you to educate your children you can't teach what you don't know so I think that that's just a big thing and that's something that I have learned over time because at first when I became a parent I was doing everything that my parents did when I was a kid and it just shouldn't work that way you know you should always go off your own thing you should always like kind of question everything and do your own research and do your own parenting in your own way for doing things and living life um so i'm not gonna talk y'all too long i feel like that is pretty much the core and the base and the foundation of what i have learned and what has helped change and um shape and mold me as a mother as a woman um going into this next stage and chapter in my life um i feel like it's a i've learned those are like because i'm a deep person y'all i'm not gonna get on here and you know be sharing y'all what i bought from walmart yesterday and there's just a little superficial stuff that you know most people talk about and most people like to hear i'm not that type of woman i've never i, I don't really feel like i've ever been that type of